Um, I, I don't think there's any one thing that inspired me to agriculture, um, other than a love for the industry um, and farmers, or Scottish farmers, British farmers. We do so much um, for our look for our countryside, and I don't know. I that's a hard question. I should have done some more thinking about this question. Um, but <laughs> I, I grew up around. I grew up as a farmer's son. I did agriculture was a huge part of my life and my family, farming family at home. Um, so being involved with young farmers, um, going off to the university to study agriculture, it was it wasn't always something I was going to do, but it's something I love and I, I couldn't see myself really doing anything else. Um, and I just, yeah, I think the industry has a lot to give. Um, we're so fortunate. Well, I'm standing here just now on a glorious day and I think this year highlighted more so how fortunate I am or how fortunate we within agriculture are. Mm -hmm. um, our industry didn't stop. If anything, we were busier. Um, we were out on farm every day and um, thankfully weren't cooped up in a house somewhere. Um, and yeah, w without we need farmers. Um, we need people within agriculture. Um, so I, yeah, I've probably really not answered your question, but um, I love I love for the industry is probably what brought me to it, um, if I'm totally honest. Um, definitely, young farmers played a huge part of my life, um, both socially and educationally. Um, I'm part. I'm um, on the national committee for the agricultural and agri and rural affairs committee, um, and we do a lot for engaging with various industry uh, bodies, um, engaging with different farmers, different businesses that I have learned so much from. And I haven't been involved since I was 14. I've had a long wee while now to to pick it, the brains of people and learn a, a, a lot. You get you get to sit around tables with people that you really wouldn't expect to, and you can learn a huge amount from that. Um, another opportunity is I, I think there's a lot to be said for, for going away and studying um, and, and going away from home um, and studying. You learn a lot about yourself and it, it pushes you out of your comfort zone. Um, I mentioned before also traveling. That's another opportunity that if you get the opportunity to get around the world or it doesn't even have to be globally just to a different part of the uk and just see how other farms work and and also take opportunities um this was an opportunity at preston hall that i didn't see on the horizon whatsoever um and it fell upon me that oh god that that could work that could be really good here i am a year down the line thoroughly enjoying it learning a huge amount and if it hadn't been for just happened to speaking to bill once before um, that opportunity would never ever never have came so it's just put yourself out there go to meetings go to um, everything and anything really and just speak to people and um, you learn so much from speaking to people I think a huge barrier I think is experience um, people or you come out of, or even before you go to university or college or anything is getting experience is hard really hard and um, you apply for a job what experience have you got well I don't really have that much because I, I need to learn oh well we can't give you a job because you don't have enough experience and this goes on and on and on so I put it to both farmers and well, business owners that you, you have to give people a chance There's, you're not going to get experience unless somebody gives you that first chance um, and I remember I was 14 I started um, well I've been at home ever since and then it wasn't 14 it would be 16 whenever I got my tractor license and um, I was out I was somebody thankfully a contractor down at and I'm pretty sure gave me the chance to to spend a summer with them um, and you learn a bit more and then it gives you the skills to go on that that next step and a step further and um, so it's really difficult um, to get experience try and get as much experience as you can um so i would say that yeah a barrier and an opportunity um i can't remember what was the final part of the conversation the um, question it was just what further help and support is necessary um there needs to be a lot more opportunity within our industry for i think for collaboration within within businesses um to let young people a lot of younger folk I think personally want more than just um, a salary. You want to feel involved in the business or even um, 
or even be, be getting a share of the business. Um, share farming, contract farming are huge um, in New Zealand. And I came home thinking that is something that our industry, we really were, were well behind the times in that. Um, going forward, I think there'll be a lot more opportunities like that because we've got an aging population of farmers um, and not enough young coming on to take on the businesses. So um, I think things like the the Scottish Land Matching Service is a fantastic service that, that links retiring farmers and young farmers that are desperate to get on in their career. Um, and going forward, I think there needs to be a lot more of that um, to make the link between somebody like myself that is desperate to be farming um, and somebody that's at the end of their career. Um, yeah.